You write about adverse childhood consequences. Sure. That some kids suffer yep. in growing up. Being sworn at, insulted, or humiliated by your parents. Sure. Check. Being pushed, grabbed, or having something thrown at you. Check. Having parents who were separated or divorced. Check. Living with an alcoholic or a drug user. Check. Living with someone who is depressed or attempted suicide. Check. Watching a loved one be physically abused. Check. You're batting a thousand. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks, let's dive straight in. Is Zadie Vance a Christian? Is he a Catholic? Well, the short answer is yes, but his faith story is anything but ordinary. JD grew up in Milltown, Ohio, in a world that seemed a million miles away from the high-powered political halls he's in now. His early life was tough. His family struggled with addiction and instability. Raised by his beloved grandmother Mama, who had a simple but strong Christian faith, JD wasn't brought up with a strict religious routine. To put it lightly, he wasn't exactly a front row in church every Sunday type of kid. In fact, as Zidi grew older, especially during his time at Yale Law School, he found himself drifting away from faith altogether. He even considered himself an atheist. Yes folks, the man who would later become a US Senator had once but all given up on religion, questioning everything including the existence of God. But then, life happened. Vance's return to faith was gradual and it wasn't just one moment that did it. It was a combination of things. First, his marriage to Usha Chilikuri, a practicing Hindu who brought a strong sense of spirituality and reflection into his life. The relationship made JD think about the deeper questions in life and the role of faith. And then, in 2017, when the couple had their first child, that was a turning point. The birth of his son made JD rethink his beliefs, spirituality, and what kind of values he wanted to pass on. That's when he seriously started taking his journey back to faith. In 2019, JD made the big leap. He was baptized and confirmed as a Catholic at St. Gertrude Priory in Cincinnati. Yup, the same man who once didn't believe now found himself embracing Catholicism. But don't think it's all been smooth sailing. JD's relationship with Catholicism is like everything else in his life, a bit complicated. While he's deeply committed to his faith, he's also been critical of the Catholic Church, especially on sensitive issues like clergy abuse scandals. His faith journey is full of reflection and nuance. Today, as a US Senator for Ohio and Vice Presidential nominee for the 2024 election, JD's faith plays a huge role in his politics. He's even been linked to Catholic integralism, the idea that Christianity should play a stronger role in government. It's controversial, but it's clear that his Catholic faith shapes many of his conservative values. JD often believes that Christianity is the key to preserving American identity. He believes faith offers answers that help keep the nation together in times of division. But before we call it a day, there's one more burning question. Does JD Vance wear eyeliner? Well, we've got a whole video on that, so why not check it out? And there you have it. JD Vance, a man of faith, a complex political figure, and maybe just maybe an eyeliner fan. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and let us know in the comments below what you think about his journey.